Initiating system one. What's up, YouTube? I'm going to try to choose all the Pokemon and see um, what they all look like. So, Goldeen flops around, that's all. It's a fish out of the water. What do you expect? I'll throw it down so it doesn't hurt him. Alright, see, as you can see, it does absolutely nothing. Next. Moltres flies upward into the sky. Any opponent that touches it will take some serious damage. Alright, I mean, that's alright. Mio, nothing happens except a realization that you're quite lucky to have seen one. Another Pokemon that does nothing. No damage. But at least it's really cute. Next, Entei summons a fiery tornado that forces any fighters caught it caught in it up to the top of the screen. I think this one's one of my favorite ones. Look how cool that was. It's a fiery tornado going up. Ow. Suicine uses a roar beam to freeze enemy fighters. This one's alright. Next, Lugia creates a gust of wind from a distance. Alright, this one's actually really good if you know how to use it right. It can be a one-hit KO, especially when it's flying up, but okay, well, it didn't work out that time. Well, at, I mean, after this part, when it's flying up, like, right here. Next, Latios and Latias. Fly back and forth across the stage, damaging and attempting to launch anyone they hit. I guess the wind is kind of uh, pushing away. So I think that was eight hits it does. Next, Kyogre washes away enemy fighters with bursts of water. So this Pokemon doesn't really damage your opponent. It just kind of pushes them away from the map. Except that part. The very beginning, then it would um, damage. So that's how it works. Next up, Deoxys fires a powerful de fires a powerful D beam downwards. Anyone that touches the beam takes some serious damage. All right, so I mean, it's all right. It wasn't that serious damage. Palkia tears through space, flipping the stage. No, it doesn't hurt your opponent if it slashes. And that's- oh, snap, I got confused. Whoops. And that's how the game uh, works, it kind of uh, reverses your controls. Garatina catches fighters in a powerful, damaging tornado. This one's pretty good. It kind of uh, has a very good damage. Keeps on doing that to the to your opponent. Next. Dark Eye uses its dark boy to send affected opponents into a deep sleep. Oh, that's interesting. It usually damages them. Let's try it again. 
Oh, okay, see, so it does it does damage him. Alright, next is Arceus. Sends an airborne opponent crashing to the ground. The players on the ground are unaffected but amused. I would love to see Kirby laughing in here. Let's see. I'm not being amused. My character is still not being amused. Vic this teeny Vic teeny Vic teeny. Uh, whatever. Generously gives a fighter who threw its throat who threw its Pokeball a final smash. All right, let's see. Final smash to you. Sounds weird. All right, so it just gives me the final smash to baby. Next up, Zero Art throws a ground opponent into the air and then slashes them with its claws. I think so far this one looks the best. Look at that. That animation looks really good. Kiram creates a close range of blizzard that freezes nearby enemies. This one's like alright. The range is not that far. Caldeo. Caldeo uses a sacred power of its horn to slash opponents. I believe it's like six hits. Alright, let's see. One. Two. Three. So it's actually four. It might be random, but so far it's four. Melowetta sends waves of sound that bounces across the, around the stage. It's all right so far. I mean, it's interesting, but Genesect. Shoots distant opponents with laser attacks. This one's alright. The two beams are alright. And then after that, it goes with beam right there. That's a good one. The range isn't that far for that. The little Kamehameha thing is pretty decent. Xerneas turns a user gold and greatly enhances their launching power for a time. Where's my face? My face? I don't even have a. I wonder if I'll. Uh, oh, I do. Turn into uh, a gold thing, so. Next up, Tapu Koko creates an electric field that stuns opponents. It also shoots out electricity. So it does like a little force field thing that kind of zaps your opponent. So there you see, that's the range of it. Sol Galio enters its radiant sun phase and will charge at enemies engulfed in flames. It missed it! Two, three. So does it three times. Lunala enters its full moon phase and shoots a powerful ray from a distance. This one's decent, it follows your opponent. And I believe it does it three times as well. Ah! 
Lastly, Marshadow. Leaps from an opponent's shadow and lets loose with a powerful punch. Well, that's a miss. It missed again. So if you see this, keep on jumping. Alright, so that's it. That is all the Pokemon using a Master Ball. Or that's all the uh, Pokemon in the Master Ball. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh my God.